Good afternoon, and let's see if it syncs this time. Ah, oh, Facebook, you've been a challenging mistress. <laughs> um, yesterday's broadcast was out of sync between audio and video. I'm hoping today will be cleaner. We'll see what happens. So hi, thanks for joining me. Um, welcome to episode six, nine, 973. I'll bump the table. Um, the topic today is um, how can you give something to somebody else if you don't give it to yourself? And I'm going to start with the idea about love because that's where it all starts in my work. But also some other things I'm realize that come up around this place because it's hard to give somebody else your kindness if you don't give it to yourself. It's hard to give somebody else your compassion if you don't give it to yourself. It's hard to give somebody else your agreements if you don't give it to yourself. So there's lots of things I want to speak to here because um, simply put, we tend to put things outside ourselves first. So let's talk about love as we're going to say to start with that. So. My passion, as I've talked about quite many times, I help people learn to love themselves before they love somebody else. Because in a relationship, it's the most codependent thing there is to keep thinking somebody else is going to give you what you don't have yourself. When you do have it, you don't give it to yourself. That should make sense. So my, um, my invitation to you is to start reviewing your day, this one for example, and maybe the last week, and maybe this last year, and see about how much love you actually gave yourself thinking that you deserve, well, excuse me, giving it, giving it to yourself because you deserve it, rather than thinking you just give it to somebody else because they deserve it. There's a trap in here which we fall into, which is thinking about if we please other people, they'll approve of us. That's a big one, by the way. Approval, approval seeking is kind of one of those big um, addictions we have. We understand, hi, Vincent, good to see you, sir. Um, we fall into this trap of not knowing what it is really we really want to have because we don't give it to ourselves first. And the thing is, we are amazingly self-sufficient emotionally when we let ourselves have what we want for ourselves. Again, self-love, compassion, care, forgiveness, big one, um, acceptance, appreciation, all these things we give to ourselves, we tend not to because we give it to other people first. And this is the epitome of what codependency is about, is that we think somehow, first of all, they've got to approve of us before we think we're valid, which is a mistaken approach because you already are amazing and worthy regardless of what other people think. You can quote Ellen Roosevelt for that one, you know, what you think of, what, what you think of is none of my business. The thing is, we tend to think that everyone else's opinion of us is more important than our own opinion of ourselves. That's a whole other teaching, put it to one side. It's all interconnected. Because we're tying into the fact about we seek other people's approval, because we don't trust ourselves to have the approval on our side ourselves. And secondly, we don't take care of ourselves enough to warrant seeking other people. So the thing is, and I talked about this a lot recently as well, about taking care of yourself first before you take care of other people. This is a ground rule I learned in a seminar 35 years ago, which I'm still learning how to re refine and polish because it's, it's a never ending journey. But one piece of that that's really vital for me is to learn how to actually take care of myself on another level, a better level, a higher level, a more functional level. And so for me, I'm passionate about people learning to learn, to help people learn how to love themselves first. Self love is a vital, functional, and powerful tool when you use it to take care of yourself so then you're not longer, no longer dependent upon somebody else to make you feel okay, because you already, are, you already are okay, as I mentioned. But when you're loving yourself first before you meet somebody else, that person is actually off the hook. You let them off the hook. Because the other part of this thing where you're, we're trying to get other people's approval is you make them responsible for your happiness. Yes, that's what, this is how codependency works. You become responsible. You, you, it's like you're with somebody else in a relationship and somehow you end up being responsible for their happiness. What's the other way around too? So understanding that your true alignment is to yourself first. So you can be more effective in the world loving other people as an overflow, as an abundance, as an extension of loving yourself. That's the way to do it right. I created my self-love meditation, which I put in the comments. Yes, I'll give you some links to help you with that practice. Because when you learn to love yourself first, you practice it as a daily discipline for 30 days. If you don't already have a practice, which is why I created my self-guided meditation. Once you do, in fact, have that, you start to recognize that, in fact, you're in a much better place to love other people. It's actually the ignition key, so to speak, for your ability to love other people. So my invitation to you is to look at places in your life where you could be more effective at putting the, pointing the finger of love at yourself, so to speak, before you point it, point it out there to somebody else. And again, all the other pieces of the puzzle, that approval-seeking piece, it's like if you start approving yourself first, which is actually more powerful, you won't need other people's approval. In fact, you don't need other people's approval anyway because what they approve you or not 
it's going to make your life more challenging if you believe that they do or don't. So this is this is how again, I've talked about this before, so I'm just giving you another recap. That when we go into this place of relationship where we have a a, um, a limiting belief that where well, is a limiting belief? We believe that other people's approval is more important than our own. And you may have experienced that yourself. I know myself. I did that for a while. The trap we fall into then is that their approval sways how we feel about ourselves. If somebody else approves of us, we feel good. If somebody else doesn't approve of us, we don't feel good. It's kind of like we're on that spectrum. And so what we're doing is we're reacting to what somebody else does or doesn't do. And that's the trap of codependency. So when you start to learn how to love yourself first, functionally love, care, appreciate, respond, have compassion for, and really truly honor yourself, then what other people do doesn't matter to you. And when you do that right, it changes everything around you. Every relationship around you will change when you love yourself first. Every relationship around you. Family, business, romantic, social, all of those relationships will change. But it starts with you. I said I'm going to put some links in the comments. I already know there's two going to be there to start. So my self-love meditation will be there and my BFF masterclass because components in that class will help you with this as well. I'm putting so much content into this 90-day journey because I'm really clear about how, especially this year, because people are saying, what's well, a new year? We're going to do things bigger and make things happen. Well, it helps you if you have the right tools to do the right job. So I'm giving you the opportunity to jump into those. Yes, I'll put the links in the comments. You can check them out. Because I think it's important for us to realize that at this new year has to come back to self-support first. You know, this is, this is the year where things can happen differently, maybe, than you have before. Maybe you've been in the paradigm before where all those relationships out there had emotional weight upon you and so you only felt good or bad you felt good or bad depending on the state of those relationships when you learn loving yourself first is the priority when you start owning that self-love first then those relationships have no impact on an, on a scale that affects you yes you can enjoy the relationships and you can love being in them but it's not dependent upon them for your own happiness i talked about this yesterday about happiness was a vital key so i'm really there's a string of talk, teaching coming out here so my invitation to you as a reminder is put yourself first in your life. Put yourself first in how you take care of yourself. Put yourself first in how you love yourself. And put yourself first in how you honor yourself too. This, this I'm just giving you like the, the distilled teaching that could take two years to learn. So you're welcome. <laughs> Making this more succinct, but I want to make this brief, brief talk because I want to give you some thought, food for thought. And understanding that your ability to have amazing relationships is predicated upon you loving yourself first. So, I think something else. I mean, that really is the, the epitome. That's the that's the, the the juice of this this talk. Um, there was another piece I was going to go in there. Oh, let me do another. Uh, no, I'll save that one for tomorrow. I'm, I'm already putting so much into this talk. I'm like, no, I'll overload you. So I do invite your questions, thoughts, comments about this. If you want to put them in the comments below, I'll respond when I sign off. Because um, if you're not here live, you want live or in replay, I do respond in both places. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there because I've got another topic that's brewing, but I don't want to talk about it yet because it's too big to put at the end of this talk. So join me tomorrow for another talk. And by the way, this is my daily Facebook Live, so I do this every day. Hence, I'll be another one tomorrow. Um, it's a daily Facebook Live that is a. Um, commitment I have to serve, to inspire. That's why I'm at episode number 973. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day of the week, seven days a week, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually. Sometimes it moves time-wise, but it's always always every day. So you can join me live every day then. The replay's got on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, so you can like my page. And on there, there are usually two or 300 broadcasts available. They don't show all of them, because that's Facebook style. I'm not saying anything about that. So if you want to get all my broadcasts, go to my YouTube channel. Yes, I'm, I'm um, not promoting is the wrong word. I'm sharing about YouTube because I use that as well. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, subscribe to my channel. On there is a playlist called Messages from the Mask Number on my broadcast live. Every one of them is there. I made sure of that. So you can search through by t titles or keywords, find what you're looking for and get some help in different areas. Again, there'll be some links in the comments afterwards because I did drop a hint about two of them. But I'll put a third link in there as well, but you can reach out to the channel chat with me because if you're ready to get some help, I'm here to help you. So love yourself first, take care of yourself first, honor yourself first, and approve of yourself first. 
you get those things down in your life, everything else will work better. You can count on it. So thank you for watching as always. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And uh, I remind you as always to please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.